Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the SketchUp Art Studio. Today I'm going to show you how we can render exterior houses with simple design in SketchUp and Enscape. But in this place we have some problems. First of all, the problem is that you have high value of the uh, environment and you can't feel your camera on the exact position. Second problem related to this house and the 3D environment of this house. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how you can create the professional camera shot. And after that, I'm going to talk about how you can use these trees for making your renders much realistic. So, before we start this video, please subscribe us and let's get to work. I'm going to click on the save frame in the Enscape 3.5 and this is my save frame in here. So, I'm going to click on the visual setting and increase the rendering quality to the medium mode and change the output of my job to some type of resolution like the custom resolution. This custom resolution can be some type of portrait. For this reason, I'm going to reduce this number to the 1200 and increase this number about 1600. Some type of resolution like this. Or 1440. Some type of resolution like this is really wonderful. Now I want to press a space on my keyboard and walk in my environment to see what will happen. And I want to use this type of shot in here from this place or I can move in this place and change my camera shot in this place. It completely depends on you. So I prefer to use this place in here. So I'm going to walk in my environment and I think some type of thing like that is really good. So I'm going to click on the uh, visual setting from the camera box and change my projection from perspective to the uh, two point perspective. All right. Now I can hold right click on my cursor, something like that and click on the uh, visual setting again. So, this time I'm going to use the field of view so I can focus on my target, my house and I'm going to type 40 degree horizontal or I can decrease it about 36 degree it's much better and change my camera shot in this place. So, I'm going to click on the uh, shift on my keyboard and hold right click and change my cursor to change the uh, time of the day very simple. Something near to the morning can be really good light for me, something like that. I want to see these leaves and shadows on my house wall and I'm going to click on the uh, visual setting. So the question is that how we can take some white renders in Enscape. For this reason, I'm going to click on the style box and change my mode from non mode to the white mode. It takes a little bit of time and after that you can see more details on your 3D house. So, I'm going to change the time of the day something like that for example. And I can click on the visual setting and increase the outlines to create these type of graphical renders. So if you want to change it to the override, you only want to click on this place in here. So I prefer to use num mode and outline is zero. So I'm going to increase the exposure about 56% and hold Ctrl and U to change the sun direction. Something like this for example can be good or something like that i'm going to click on the visual setting click on the sky box change the uh source of my horizon from white ground to the white cubes and decrease the cyrus amount to the a uh, zero now we have better clouds in our sky but some of them are really not professional so i'm going to change the variety of it to see the best result in here. As you can see, some number about 88% can help us, but I prefer to decrease the density 
to have some clear sky like that in here. So if you want to see some type of fly and airplane contrails on the sky, you only need to increase the contrails to see some type of lines like that. So I'm going to click on the atmosphere, decrease the fog option and decrease the uh, some brightness, something like this. And as you can see, you can see the change is very fast and complete. So some number about 44% is good. About the shadow sharpness, I want to use soft shadows, something like that. And artificial a little bit, ambient brightness a little bit. And intensity is zero. So I'm going to click on the image bar, use the auto contrast. And if you want some warm render, you can decrease the color temperature. But I prefer to increase it in this scene about 7000 Kelvin. Saturation is good and motion blur is not really useful in here. Bloom option not really useful and lens flare is not really useful too. So 10% for the awignate and chromatic is zero. I'm going to click on the main bar and increase the depth of field and uncheck the autofocus option in here and change the uh, focal point on my facade design like this. So I'm going to type 16 meter and change the depth of field to the 12 percent and close it. So I'm going to minimize this screen in here. I think I'm in some place like that, for example. So I'm going to move this tree a little bit inside of my camera. So I'm going to turn it to the uh, this place. As you can see in here, we have some quick results like that. Something like this. Or I can change it a little bit like this. So in here, I'm going to use to fill this area. So I'm going to close this tree to my house like this and move it a little bit on the a green axis. Something like that is much better. So everything is done in here right now, but in here we have two white environments. So you can click on this tree in here and move it a little bit in this place. And you can see the colors variation very simple and easy in your renders. And it can convert your renders from simplicity to the some type of professional renderings. But about the materials, we have some problems. For example, I don't know what is this in the roofs in here. So I'm going to use the uh, eyedropper in here, pick this material up and uncheck the uh, texture. Now we have better color in here and I can change the color of it, something like that. So I'm going to click on the Enscape material editor and I'm going to use the uh, eyedropper from the SketchUp environment and pick this material up. So if I want to decrease the roughness, you can see some better reflections on these surface in here. So I prefer to use some number about 16% and remove the uh, texture of it. And you can see all the colors are completely changed. So you can change the color to some type of gray color like that. And now you can see better results in here. About some materials like these fences in this place. I'm going to pick up the uh, eyedropper, click on one of them. Actually, these type of things in the BIM and building modeling related to the metal materials. So roughness is completely zero and Metallica is too high for these type of renders. I'm going to change the color to the dim gray or black and now it's much better. So everything is done for me right now. I only want to add some type of car in my environment, but I don't know how. So I'm going to click on the uh, asset library in my Enscape environment, as you can see. And you can press L on your keyboard to open the uh, online asset library. And I'm going to click on the uh, categories and select the vehicles. 
and I only want to pick one of these vehicles, for example, some type of color or car, like this one, for example, something like the Tesla cars or Lamborghini, but I prefer to use uh, some type of simple car like this one. So I'm going to add it in this environment in here and click on the apply changes. Don't worry about the size and dimension of it. So I'm going to select it, click on the scale bar in here and hold my cursor on this gizmo and hold left click and change my cursor's position, something like that and apply changes. So I'm going to select it and click on the rotate option and I can rotate it on the green axis like that about 90 degree in this place and press enter. So I'm going to click on it, move it and apply changes. As you can see in this place we have best area of the car. So I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to select it from here. So I'm going to click on the selection box and my car is someplace for example in here now it's much better so I, now i'm going to click on the asset library select this car and change the color of this car to some type of color like the adim gray you can see the changes but i prefer to use some type of bright colors like the abisco or white color I'm going to click on the white color to see what happened. The result is not bad, so I'm going to click on the apply changes and everything is good for me right now. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper. This type of materials is nothing. So I'm going to click on the uh, color box in here and add some type of a little bit gray color theme in this place something like that for example and now it's much better so you can change and customize these type of colors like that now it's much better in here I'm gonna close your group in here and everything is done for me right now so I only want to change the time of the day to see the best result of the lighting something like that is much better in this place, I need some a little bit trees like that to change the color. So uh, I only want to select these three in here and move it a little bit in here. So now I'm going to move it a little bit in here. And you can see the changes in this place. So something like that can be really good and on the uh, blue axis I can change it like this so I think it's good now time for the uh, rendering so I'm gonna click on the uh, screenshot button in here and save it on my desktop as the uh, JPG and press save but before it I'm gonna increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode and now I'm going to take another render like this. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you like this video, please comment your opinion about the Enscape 3.5 rendering engine and type what you want from the Enscape 3.6 in the new updates. Please comment it because it's really important for all of the Enscape users. As you can see, when I refresh on my desktop, or I think in quick access I can see this render in here the result is completely incredible and wonderful thanks for your watching thanks for your support and goodbye